Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to click subscribe button if you want more weekly updates. In this video, we are going to see about speech writing. Speech writing is your 5 mark question which is asked from 9th to 12th standard. Now let's see how to write a good speech. The format of a good and effective speech is very simple. It contains of three parts, namely introduction, body and conclusion. To write introduction and conclusion, it is must and uh, body. Let's see how to write the body. There are simple types, tips you need to keep in mind while drafting a speech. All you need to remember to you is your uh, chocolate drink during your childhood days that is we can uh, take it as horlicks this will help you remember how to write your speech effectively and flawlessly without any mistake let's see how h is hook develop a hook you need to capture the attention at the beginning of the speech as mentioned certain earlier. It can be through a hook. That is hook means H is how. Now let's see H. That is how to write the speech writing. Begin the speech writing. First begin with a humorous story and you can use an anecdote and a starting statistic is very important or an uh, impressive you can begin uh, the hook inspiration uh, how your speech is uh, with the H question next is who organize your ideas of a yeah, preview of what to have uh, come in the introduction and be you follow these points in order so you have to organize your ideas next is uh, wrap it up or relationship with the audience establish your credibility as a speaker by demonstrating your connection to the topic you have to connect the speaker to your topic in your speech yeah, connection is very important relating to the topic you have to begin that is your responsibility next is a good speech is always written from the point of view of the audience so a good speech must be written from the point of view of the audience imagine they are sitting next to you eagerly waiting to hear your speech give them a name possible and help them real so you have to imagine that uh, the speech the listener is sitting near you and you have to write according to the directly to them next is uh, language language is very important check the tone of your language and even when you draft a speech it is right for the occasion subject matter and your audience so you have to check the language how um, the language must be the the uh, important is very important the speech is very important when uh, your language is high and essential so you have to draft a speech according to the language the length of your audience should not be too long or complicated so your sentences should be very short length of the sentence should be short it should not be long and a complicated sentence you should not use remember you are writing oral language so um, think that uh, you are not uh, writing a essay you are writing a oral language you have to write as if you are explaining uh, with your friend or showing something to someone so the language must be very oral sitting to you the people is the person is sitting to you think like that and you have to write the speech did you get that of course you you did right let's move it along uh, this is what you have to write while writing the speech how many of you are aware of this fact not many i'm sure like that while oral language you have to use in the uh, writing while writing the speech it is very important next is uh, interesting i interesting 
your speech have to captivate captivate the audience attract the audience you to may you to make it interesting by sharing your personal experiences some newspaper headlines um, astonishing facts like that you can and incidents like that you can and the uh, the subject uh, the speech you are uh, conveying to the audience must be very interesting the next one is conclusion end your speech with an attitude not a uh, plain uh, because uh, focus on one word and uh, the quotation and emphasize that word till the end from the first point till the last you have to emphasize the point of that is the focus point um, next one is uh, uh, leading speakers and their speeches uh, like the open state and high note vocally and intellectually so leading speakers quotes you can use there last words um, lingered that is the last word which you write uh, will linger in mind will, will be in mind so the last word crystallize your thoughts galvanize your message and mobilize the audience so the last word the last conclusion is very important it will crystallize it will crystal your feelings thoughts and the message you want to convey to the audience the next is you can use this conclusion in any of your speech related to social issue we need to look at the whole issue with a new perspective so in the conclusion you you must give some so social issues you can use some social issues with a new perspective with the new ideas not uh, not just for today but for tomorrow that is uh, ideas which we can move um, fulfilling uh, more compelling because of the change the change you need to come in the society we can mention in this conclusion so simplify um, your ideas and present it that is uh, our tomorrow's more rewarding more uh, fulfilling and now compelling so simplify that one remember your speech should be uh, simple concise and clear so few your words must be mentioned there use appropriate vocabulary do not try to include too many points next is uh, yes that is a speech transition your audience attention will naturally uh, on your um, on somewhere uh, but you have to catch them and make them short by your speech transitions that is the transition the audience attention may vary but uh, all cannot uh, attention uh, give attention to your speech so you have to attract them they are uh, those magical words and phrases uh, that help you uh, your content uh, flow um, easily they help your uh, audience understand your message that is transition between similar ideas uh, that is likewise you can use these words likewise similarly we are the same thing uh, if we consider like that you can use the next one is transition between contrasting ideas you can use contrasting ideas if we uh, flip that around between on the contrary like this you can use next is a transition between the color elaborating open and of an idea that is um, elaborating opening you have to conclude by the opening sentence in addition furthermore not only but also moreover we can use these words so or you can use a transition to support a quote in 1978 mr x and uh, the and y said like that you can use this idea was exposed clearly by mr x who uh, who said like that you can conclude by giving a 
quote by famous leaders or you can get introduction to the body let's begin uh, to get started let's examine like that you can uh, uh, conclude uh, in in the introduction next uh, um, conclusion the conclusion in short in conclusion let's summarize the key lesson let me conclude my speech like that you can use usually um, a key lesson let's uh, summarize the key idea like that you can use remember to thank your audience after the conclusion or while you are uh, concluding your speech in short uh, speech writing um, remember while writing there must be a greeting good morning good afternoon like that there must be a salutation or a greeting um, the um, uh, famous persons audiences uh, respected sir madam like that you have to use the next is uh, introduction to the topic uh, i feel i need to privilege say to privilege for being uh, given me the opportunity to express my um, opinion or idea in front of these uh, people like that you have to um, give introduction next is a uh, body short uh, shortly you have to give a proverb examples of facts day-to-day -day affairs like that you can include this conclusion is very important uh, just be thankful uh, for uh, concluding uh, conveys a thousand words I would like to convey my speech with a simple thank you thank you for uh, being listening to my speech having such a patient and a wonderful audience or you can use uh, thank you very much for listening with the patience uh, I hope my speech has given you um, enough uh, for full thought or food for your thought or uh, future thought or future planning like that you can conclude now I have an example prepare a speech on independence day so begin with the example that is quotation i have begin a very good freedom uh, um, like that you have to begin a uh, quote regarding freedom then a greeting then the body of the content with the conclusion thanks for watching my channel subscribe click the subscribe button for more weekly updates click the notification don't forget to like share and comment thank you